welcome to video four of my transposition series. This is going to help you in your science and principle exam for the City and Guilds 5357 or 2365 or EAL equivalent exams. Ultimately, the transposition is all the same, the formula is, is always the same, the course may change, but the content is largely unaffected. What I've done here then for this fourth video is I've just put up some easy triangles for you guys to write out for your exams. So, you should all know by now the Ohm's Law Triangle. We've got V divided by I times R. So I've just put the divide symbol in there to remind you and timesing. If you're looking for resistance, you put your hand over R. V divided by I equals R. Again, if you're looking for current, you put your hand over the current. V divided by R equals current. And if you're looking for volts, I times R equals volts. OK? That's a really easy way of doing the Ohm's Law Triangle because there's only three things to work out and it saves you having to transpose it every time. Next is the Power Triangle, which you guys should be a favourite by now. Exactly the same principle. If I want to find power, well, that's volts times current. If I want to find current, well, that's power divided by voltage. And if I want to find voltage, well, that's power divided by current. That gives me voltage. So that's your Power Triangle, OK? Then we've got the force triangle. So we've got force at the top, mass times gravity. Well, mass times gravity equals force. So if I want to find force, mass times gravity. If I want to find mass, well, that's force divided by gravity. And if I want to find gravity, well, that's force divided by mass. Down the bottom here, we've got a mass triangle. At the top is mass, density times volume. So if I was looking for mass, density times volume equals mass. If I wanted to find volume, well, that would be mass divided by density. And if I wanted to find density, it would be mass divided by volume. And then lastly, we've got the frequency triangle. This is obviously for the 50 hertz supply in the UK. But in the science and principles exam, they get you to sort of look at other periodic time. It would be one over frequency or one over time. If I wanted to find time, that would be one divided by the frequency. And if I wanted to find the time, uh, sorry, the frequency, that would be one divided by time would give me frequency. And then if I wanted to find what the time was, that would be frequency times time. Sorry, if I wanted to find what was at the top, that would be frequency times time equals that. OK, equals one. Effectively, that equals what you're looking for. OK, so those are just some simple triangles for you guys to remember for your city and guilds exams. I hope this video has been of some use to you. Again, get used to writing out those formula sheets. I can't tell you how important it is. If you can understand the formula and remember the formula and you can transpose it, you can answer pretty much every question in that exam and you should be coming out with distinction. So practice hard at least two, three times a week, including your college day, and you stand a better chance of passing those exams. Good luck.